All right, folks, this is my third time trying to record my little recap. So hopefully this one sticks. Downtown Ithaca, New York. I just finished giving an in-person lecture at Cornell University over two years since I've done an in-person speaking event. The way I feel today, come tomorrow, I feel the same. I design all of my presentations in Canva. I create my talks directly with slides because graphics are more than just an afterthought or just an add-on. I do not consider what I do a work from home career, but really a work from anywhere career. That's everything from the country to the actual spot I'm in. My preferred spots to work are cute cafes and coffee shops. The prevalence of so many within walking distance is one of the reasons why I love NYC. Even though a lot of my presentations repeat fundamental concepts, define and describe colorism, I always customize it and tailor it to the specific audience and occasion I'm speaking to. It's definitely not just the information, but the whole energy and vibe of each presentation that matters. And since this is my first time back in person in two years, we get to go on a quick shopping trip. Luckily, there's a convenient food truck on the way to my absolute favorite place to buy blazers, H&M. Second is Target, but that's way in East Harlem. No time to trek way over there. Plus, H&M has better quality blazers, which I judge from them having lining and functional pockets. I also bought a super cute hoodie from this place. You'll see it later in the video. Today is the day that I travel to Ithaca, New York to give a lecture on colorism at Cornell University. Cornell for Black Lives is hosting the event. The two-day conference is the state of Black America. And so obviously colorism being one of the things that Black America continues to face, they invited me in to speak about this issue. This particular event is super exciting, y'all. One of the reasons why I'm documenting this as one of my first vlogs is because it's been over two years since I've done an in-person speaking event. Getting on the train to go to the bus station and take the bus to Ithaca because there are no direct flights from New York City to Ithaca, at least not right now. There's supposed to be free Wi-Fi and free water. So it could actually be better than taking a flight. We'll see how long it takes, but I should get there within four hours, I think, or less, three to four hours. We'll see. Anyway, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Be my Taking an hour bus is virtually a direct trip to Ithaca from NYC. And I would use their services again, but the Wi-Fi was useless on the way going and mostly useless on the way back. However, everything else was good. And like my girl Ibadu said, I got a window seat with nobody next to me. And I was going and returning. Unfortunately, it was really dreary most of the trip, and I was really looking forward to seeing more of New York State, but it ain't that pretty this time of year, apparently. However, I still love local architecture, and Ithaca does have a lot of quaint, cute local architecture. I arrived at the hotel too early to check in, so I got ready in the lobby bathroom. My getting ready means untwisting my hair for a fly twist out. Okay. I did this for my TED talk too, but I gotta say, this one came out even better. I did a TED talk on colorism, by the way. I'll link to that down below. And I'm gonna linger on this twist out a little bit just to serve y'all some natural 4C hair. Look, okay. <laughs> uh. 
One of my biggest struggles with speaking in person is still getting good images and good videos of myself. So unfortunately, I did not have that for you all in this vlog, maybe in the next one. But apparently I'm not too bad about getting footage of the setting. And I could tell that in different weather conditions, Ithaca's Carnell's campus rather, would be absolutely breathtaking. I did not get to witness it this time around, but still a gorgeous campus. Oh no, no, no. Yeah. So many times I wanted to hold you all so near. I wanna say I love you. Softly in your ear. All right, folks, this is my third time trying to record my little recap. So hopefully this one sticks. I'm back in my hotel room, downtown Ithaca, New York at the Marriott. I just finished giving an in-person lecture on the impact of colorism on black America. It was great, great turnout, really diverse crowd, really engaged crowd, knowledgeable crowd. I always say that the younger generations give me a lot of hope in terms of the future. They make me really optimistic about what's possible. They are advanced and really far ahead compared to where my generation was and early, earlier generations were in terms of their awareness about things like colorism and intersectionality. And so I, I think this is a good thing. So many times I need to have you by my side To be my friend, my lover and my guide Oh baby, oh don't keep running yeah. oh. Today is travel day I don't even know what day it is Probably like sweatshirt at Harlem Streetwear, I think, on um, 125th across from the TJ Maxx. But I'm really excited to be going back to Harlem today because it's supposed to snow up here in Ithaca. So give me back down south where it's going to be warm and sunny. And my bus doesn't leave for until midday, but I'm going to check out early, go hang out at the Starbucks since the bus picks me up at Starbucks. Yeah, just enjoy some of the external ambiance. Uh, you know, I'm obsessed with coffee shops. You let me inside your love. Ithaca is a quaint rural town with a considerably vibrant downtown area, but it lacks the level of diversity, specifically black community, that Harlem has already spoiled me for. I haven't really been out of the city since January, so this trip to Ithaca was the first taste of what life after Harlem might be like. What I can say today is, as much as I enjoyed my Ithaca trip, it really reinforced how much Harlem feels like home. Can't, can't keep running in and out of my life.